everyone. This is Zelda with T and Z RV Life. Yeah, and see who I have back here. This little yellow screen you see on the side is a post-it note because the sun is coming in pretty brightly here. So I decided to put that up. And that way I could put up over here on this side my my weight, my what else? <coughs> <coughs> you okay? <coughs> I'm okay. So I can put up on this side weights and my meals so that you can see. I could not. Okay. I'm going to pause here just for a moment. Okay, I'm back. I had to turn on Dora for Amaya. But this week I've lost. Boom. One pound. I'm excited about that, but let me tell you, I made my chicken bone broth, and I think when I was taking out the, I cooked it on the stove, and I, I know it cooks differently on the stove than it does in a crock pot. In a crock pot, you can simmer all the way through, and it just comes up to this nice low temperature, and then you can take stuff out. Because I remember my mom doing that because my dad worked in a chicken farm at one time and we had chicken every kind of way that you can imagine so I put the carrots and the celery and the onion in it and okay sh no I put the, the carrot and the celery celery and onion in and it I think maybe the carbs from the carrots or something it caused my weight to stall and then I had a weight gain this week and then as three three days ago I started coming back down slowly so I had went up to 231 or something like that I, I, I went up and then I came back down. So now this is my weight right here. So I wanted to talk about aromatics in your bone broth. Just be aware of them because I'm sorry about the, the color change. The sun is up coming up over here and it is changing the lighting of me so I'm not changing colors it's just <laughs> it's just outside okay other than my bone broth that I made my meals were pretty consistent I had this week I had or last week I should say I had the bone broth I had chicken I had rainbow trout and eggs I when I had my eggs I only had it added to a meal I didn't have just eggs for my lunch I've been consistent with eating OVAD one meal a day and intermittent fasting and I'm not hungry the day that I drank the bone broth I, I felt really good I felt very satisfied but it did have that sweet taste to it so mm, I'm going to make it again but I'm going to make it in the crock pot and if my weight stalls again I'm going to just start taking one seasoning out at a time and then going to then weighing myself I know there are people that say you only put the chicken in and nothing else maybe some seasonings but no celery no carrots no onion no flavor <laughs> I, I have to put the seasoning in also I didn't get in enough water as I wanted to and that could also be nope nope that's it that also could be a reason why my weight kind of stalled 
I didn't get enough fluid in to get the excess out and that that could be a reason. I'm not sure. But I met a lady in Walmart yesterday and she is a new diabetic and it's amazing. I walk through Walmart a lot and I find people in that same boat they're looking at these keto products and I encouraged her and just gave her some encouraging words that she can get through this. Uh, but, you know, keto is very helpful for diabetics. So, at least from what I have seen, I'm not going to be, I am not a medical expert or anything like that. I just know it works. So, I saw her looking at this keto cereal, and I'm not sure how keto friendly it is. And to to get started, I would go with the whole foods that you know, and leave the like packaged, prepackaged keto stuff alone. I haven't ate one of my keto bars also this week, and since I've been doing one meal a day, I haven't had one bar. Kitty. Yes, kitty. Meow. Meow. Okay. Go ahead and watch Dora. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Okay. Meow. Okay. Meow. The one meal a day is working. And the bars, I feel better actually. Even though I was losing weight quickly, I still Hello. had... I still had my weight loss, but the foods, having foods that are familiar to you will help you with your keto. Chicken, fish, steak, pork chops, bacon, bacon, and hold on, I'm back. Little interruptions with the little one. Stay with foods that you know, and when you're adding your vegetables, stay away from the starchy vegetables. You eat cruciferous vegetables, eat lettuce and the, the celery, broccoli, cauliflower, cucumber, the, um, the spinach, all those, but stay away from you know, on keto, no potatoes, no corn. Some people say no carrots, but I have carrots in limited amounts. So I have cut up a piece of carrots. I like the crunch of it, but I make sure it is not not too much. Over 30 grams, I try to keep it under 30 grams. So it's it's just a little, like a little baby carrot almost. So that works for me. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this up. One thing, just be um, persistent and consistent. Don't give up. The scale said that I lost one pound. But me and my clothes and, you know, I can see a little bit in my face. Things are shifting around. And also... I didn't exercise as much as I wanted to. I, I use the resistance bands to exercise. I'm not up for walking yet, but maybe in a month's time, I, I might be. But if you can walk, walk. If you can use your resistance bands, use your resistance bands. If you want to do the high intensity um, exercises, do that whatever works for you if you can only sit in the bed and do your circles with your arms and your legs do that just move just keep moving so we're going to keep moving together and i will see you next week with my week five results and if i didn't finish showing you what i ate here i will show you at the end so 
Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. And Tony says hi. Honey, say hi. Hey. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. What are you cooking? Food. <laughs> he's in there. He's cooking pork chops and fried potatoes. Pork chops, fried potatoes. Yeah. Well, the fried potatoes, breakfast. not for me, but the pork chops, yes. Okay, see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Salad, red peppers, cucumber, celery, mozzarella, pepperoni, spring salad underneath with my keto dressing that I made and cucumber. Yum. And then I'm going to have some salmon with it. Zelda from TNZ RV Life and right there you see in the corner is Miss Amaya but I am showing you my chicken wing uh, marinade that I made and I am going to put it in the fry pan and cook it in the fry pan with a little bit more butter and olive oil a little bit later but let me show you the ingredients okay so here's the chicken all mixed up in the marinade, and I used uh, butter, pepper, ginger sauce, or um, turmeric, lime, Frank's Red Hot wing sauce, apple cider vinegar, pink Himalayan salt, and I'm not sure if I said the coconut aminos, but the co coconut aminos. And for the exact amount, I will share that in just a, a bit. Okay, the exact amounts. Two tablespoons of the ginger juice, two tablespoons of coconut aminos, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of lime, one teaspoon of pink salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of Frank's red hot wing sauce. And I'm letting my wings sit in this marinade for a couple of hours and then I'm going to put them on the pan on the stove and cook them. <laughs> 